Hello, everybody, and welcome to our very first daily uh, task chat for All About That Place 2024. I'm Natalie from the Society of Genealogists, um, Head of uh, Changing Communications here, and I'm going to go to you, Ruth, to introduce yourself next. I'm Ruth. I'm the Education and um, Events Manager here at the Society of Genealogists. Um, Liz? Hi, I'm from the Society for One Place Studies. Uh, I've got a variety of one place studies, including an institution, a street and a village. And last but no, no means least, I need to stop saying that because I stumbled over it last <laughs> time we recorded as well. Uh, Joe. <laughs> does make me feel like I'm least actually. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm Joe. I'm a historian and currently vice chair of the British Association for Local History. Hey, thank you, everybody. I'm going to share my screen and we're going to dive straight into our very first task for um, All About That Place. Um, OK, so we, we're starting you off with a but a nice easy one, because with this task, you can either fill it out now ahead of time or you can do it as you're going along um, throughout the days. And that is all about that place last year was all about um, starting one place studies. This year, we've taken that concept of place and broadened it out a bit. So it is now about putting your ancestors into contact, context, contact. I wish I could contact them. Context. So that's, um, uh, you know, uh, your ancestors place in time, um, your ancestors place within your own family history and your own tree, your ancestors place is in their location. And um, it can be any of those things. So because that's quite broad, we thought it'd be really useful if um, for each of the days and the topics that we're going to cover, you might wanna have a little bit of a think about, actually, who do I really want to focus on for this task or for the tasks that are coming up um, or when I'm listening to the talks? What kind of time period am I most interested in for each of these different aspects and where? And you might decide that after watching the talks and that's absolutely fine, or you might want to do this up front. It's completely up to you. Um, really easy for me because I just go Victorian when Victorian Victorian possibly Georgian Victorian because that's my favorite time period so whether you're like me and you're obsessed with one particular time period or um you know like to diversify a little bit is absolutely fine that's just a box for you to record it in Have you got anywhere that you would uh be I suppose Liz yours would be your place wouldn't it where would be uh repeated each time <laughs> it would okay so there's each of our days. And then the second um, task is a space for you to uh, reflect on last year. So if you attended All About That Place 2023, um, you might want to think about what did you do during that 10 days? Um, what worked well for you? What do you want to stop doing? What do you not want to repeat again this year? Perhaps, perhaps you tried to watch every single video and that was a little bit too much and you want to be a little bit more selective. Um, perhaps you, I don't know, there's something that somebody did that they want to use as an example to continue on. Um, Joe, you look like you've got an yeah. idea, scratching your face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pick on you. Uh, I mean, for my, for my shame, I actually had to work quite a lot during last year. So I had to sort of fit everything in, um, in just a very practical way. Um, but I, I watched quite a lot of the talks over my lunch break, uh, and then caught up, um, at the end of the day, which was nice. Uh, I didn't get to watch everything but i think that worked for me because i'm not sure i have the brain power to uh sort of swallow up everything that came forward so i it actually worked quite well i think the way that my brain works i could focus just on the things that i was really working on at that point in my research so i sort of extracted the things that i thought was relevant then and i think i probably i'm working on different research projects at the moment so i'd probably and i'm quite busy so i'll probably do something similar this time um but i know for example uh one person that i spoke to recently who's actually booked a week off of work uh to watch everything uh or as much yeah. as possible and to really use it as a little bit of a family history local history sabbatical um sort of research uh exploration week so uh yeah so that's that's okay. those are maybe two two different approaches you could take i don't know reflecting on my own and someone else's experience I mean, last year there were a few talks that i i watched them and i found them really useful and i remember thinking i i'd like to watch that one again I'd, i need to like revisit that but then i didn't write it down and then i found it quite difficult to find out oh which was the talk that i'd gone oh i want to re-watch that because there was a a source that they mentioned during it or there was an idea that I want to explore so actually kind of keeping my notebook a little bit better is one of the things that I want to do um to, to do this year um so obviously not everybody 
here will have been to all about that place before. So if you're new, maybe think about um, some of the ways of learning that work particularly well for you. Is it, um, you know, do you find that you, if you're trying to write notes whilst watching a talk, do you end up losing the thread? Or do you think actually, if I write whilst I'm watching, that helps cement my learning? Um, so trying to think about some of those things that particularly work for you and just having that little bit of space for quiet, quiet reflection really today before we dive into, um, you know, talk madness really for, for 10 days. <laughs> I was on holiday for last year's all about that place. So I'd, I'd be frantically catching up while I was brushing my teeth in the morning or, or brushing my teeth before I went to bed, just trying to catch odd talks here and there. So um, also I've started a new one place study since then. Um, so I'm looking forward to sort of working through the workbook, you know, but with my new one place study, um, targeting some of the talks. And last year I had such a buzz about it. It was great fun. You know, so many people enjoyed it and I'm really looking forward to networking with people, chatting with people, um, finding out more. You know, the, the speakers are all very happy to answer questions. So if you have got any questions, then tag us on social media or comment on the um, appropriate video on the YouTube channel and watch some of last year's videos as well to get you in the spirit of it. I'm still catching up with some of last year's videos. So, it, you know, it's a fantastic resource. So really I'm excited gonna, about this year. I think there's some really great tips in what you said there, Liz, because I know some of the speakers when um, when we've been chatting to them said, actually, I didn't realise what a community it was going to have. And this year I plan to dive into that a little bit more. I'll maybe watch a little bit less, but talk on the Facebook group a little bit more. And um, so that's quite nice. And then the other thing you've reminded me as well is that for some people, they'll have been doing perhaps a brand new one place study for a year. So to reflect on how's that, how's that gone? You know, how's actually doing the study gone or how's your uh, family history um, go, gone over the last year? If perhaps you didn't pick a place, but use the talks in that way. Um, and I think I think kicking off um, uh, certainly one of the first talks this morning is going to be. A reflection on uh, a year of one place studies and looking back at what they've I think it's Helen is it Helen Tovey am I right Going um to... Melanie Melanie Caldercott for the very first it. talk okay okay yeah the first year of my one place study that's brilliant okay thank you Ruth for correcting me there getting them muddled um Yes. So uh, I think that would be a really useful thing for people to watch and to think about, um, you know, what's gone well within your own research as well. It doesn't always have to be about the, the learning experience itself. We, we're always constantly learning things um, and uh, actually sometimes celebrating those mistakes and kind of reflecting on where it might have gone slightly wrong or right can be um, particularly useful. And, and uh, you know, as somebody who once did have to chop an entire branch off of their family tree because they'd made a mistake, you know, it happens to the best of us. So it's not failure, it's feedback. <laughs> Look at it that way. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. OK, great. Um, well, thank you very much for joining me all for our very first uh, task chat. Um, we'll all be back tomorrow to uh, to share the next set of tasks and to get you thinking about making the most out of all about that place. <laughs>